this video, we're going to talk about arc length and area of a sector. Since both arc length and sectors are portions of a circle, we can use part to whole ratios to solve for them. But before we get into any fancy formulas, let's review some definitions. The arc length is the measure of the distance along the curved line making up the arc of a circle. Like circumference, arc length is a measurement of distance, so it can be given in centimeters, inches, or even miles. A sector is a portion of the area of a circle. So the area of a sector is the area of a portion of that circle. It's measured in units of area, such as square centimeters, square inches, or square feet. If you love dessert like I do, you may prefer to think of the area of a sector as the size of a cake slice. Now that we understand these portions of a circle, we're ready to get into some formulas. Let's start with arc length, which is a fraction of the circumference. Our part to whole ratio is the central angle divided by 360 degrees, which is the total degrees in a circle. This is equal to the arc length divided by the circumference of the circle. We can make this formula more user-friendly by substituting the Greek letter theta for the central angle and substituting the formula for the circumference of a circle, 2 pi r, for the circumference. To find the area of a circle, we use the formula theta of the sector divided by 360 equals the area of the sector divided by the area of the circle. Let's look at an ACT problem that asks us to find arc length. The radius of the circle with center O shown below is 6 inches. What is the length in inches of minor arc AB? A is 4 pi, B is 5 pi, C is 6 pi, D is 7 pi, and E is 8 pi. Let's underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. You might be wondering what a minor arc is, so let's get a definition before we move forward with this problem. A minor arc is less than half of the circle, or less than 180 degrees. A major arc, on the other hand, is greater than 180 degrees. Let's highlight arc AB to keep track of what we're solving for. Now we can use ratios to solve for the arc length in this problem. Our angle is 120, so let's plug in 120 in place of theta. We're solving for the arc length AB, so let's put x in place of the arc length. As the circumference equals 2 pi r, and the question tells us that the radius is 6, we find that the circumference of the whole circle is 12 pi. Now we have our ratio. We then cross multiply to solve for x. So 120 times 12 pi equals 360 x. We use our calculator to multiply 120 times 12 and we get 1440 pi equals 360 x. Dividing both sides by 360, we get 4 pi equals x, which is choice A. Now let's solve an ACT problem that asks us to find the area of a sector. In the figure below, the radius of the circle with center O is 4 inches. What is the area in square inches of the shaded region? A is pi over 2, B is pi, C is 2 pi, D is 4 pi, and E is 8 pi. Again, we'll underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. Let's add the radius of 4 into the drawing. Now let's set up a ratio to solve for the area of this sector. Our central angle is 45. We'll call the area of the sector x, and our radius is 4. So let's rewrite this as 45 over 360 equals x over 16 pi. Now let's cross multiply to solve for x. We get 45 times 16 pi equals 360 x. Using the calculator, let's multiply 45 times 16 to get 720. So 720 pi equals 360 x. Dividing both sides by 360, we find that 2 pi equals x, which is choice C. For those of you who like using formulas, that may have been an easy way to solve the problem. But sometimes you can save yourself some time by guesstimating. Let's look at that problem again to see how we would guesstimate our way to the correct answer. First, let's compare the amount that's shaded with the area of the whole circle. To do that, it would help to know the area of the whole circle. The formula for area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Plug 4 in for the radius, and the area of the whole circle is 16 pi. All of the answer choices are smaller than that. So, let's consider half of the circle. Since the whole circle is 16 pi, half of the circle would be half of 16 pi, which is 8 pi. 
it's definitely not 8 pi, choice E. A half of a circle is still too much. Let's look at choice D, 4 pi. A quarter of the circle would be 1 fourth of 16 pi, or 4 pi. The area shaded in the figure is definitely smaller than 4 pi, so we'll cross out D. When we compare the area that's shaded in the drawing to a quarter of the circle, we see that it looks like half of the quarter circle, or 2 pi. That's choice C, the same answer we got when we used the formula. That was a long one. Great job. Give yourself a round of applause. As you can see, setting up ratios to solve ACT problems involving arc length and the area of a sector is one way of solving these problems. If you prefer guesstimating your way to the right answer, that's another way to do it. My favorite way to practice finding the area of a sector is to get a big cake and measure myself a slice. But hey, that's just me. Now that you've learned about arc length of a sector, make sure you solve some of the many practice problems available throughout this course.